friends. Today I wanted to do a video going over my February 2021 budget. So I do these budget videos to be helpful and encourage you guys to do your monthly budgets. I do use my real numbers and I do round them off just for ease of calculating um, live on this video. So I do round them off, but they are my real numbers and they are very close to what I'm um, putting here. They're just a little bit rounded to make it easier. So First, we're gonna go over income. This does not change very much for us. Uh, we are both salaried, so it's pretty much the same as last month. I will just write that here. And the dates are the 5th, the 12th, the 19th, and the 26th. And we are budgeting 1,300, 1,600, 1,300, and 1,600 for a total of 5,800 for our income for the month of February. Next, we're moving down to our fixed expenses. So of course we have our mortgage that is due on the first. So this is actually our March payment and that is $1,300. And then we have cell phones, which is the 20th. And that is 140 for both. Netflix is the 20th as well, and that is 14. Peloton is the second, and that is 41. Then we have our internet, which is the 28th. And that is 60. And then we have two that are not normally on here. So we pay our water bill quarterly. And then we also have our car registration. So this is due the 15th and this is due the 22nd. So car registration for the year is 85 and our water bill is 225. I put that under fixed because uh, our water bill is almost exactly the same every quarter. We don't really, we pretty much use the same amount of water every quarter. So it really is like pretty much just 225 every quarter. It doesn't really change very much. So I'm gonna add these up. And quarterly water is something that I'm actually deciding to cash flow this month. I normally do have a sinking fund for it, but I've decided to try to cut down my sinking funds a little bit in 2021 because I find that it gets a little bit confusing <laughs> if I have too many in my mind. So I'm kind of trying to simplify. Um, let me do that again. I always feel like I mess these up. I like to double check them. Okay, so 1865, and then we're gonna subtract that off the 5800. So yeah, we are no longer having a sinking fund for quarterly water as of right now. We can cash flow that. We do have a lot of flexibility in our budget now that we've kind of trimmed down our budget and also paid off a significant amount of debt. We do have a little bit more flexibility with our income. So we're, we are able to cash flow some of these like smaller items like the car registration we've never had a sinking fund for. We just cash flow that in the month that it's in. So variable, electric, spending, gas, groceries, misc, and dining out. These don't change very much typically. Our electric is on the 28th, and then the rest are just throughout the month, and we just spend as we go, so I'm not gonna put a date for those. So electric, 225. Spending, 100. Gas, 100. We actually could probably reduce that a little bit, but I'll leave it for now, just we haven't been driving as much lately, especially that I've since I've been working from home. And 200 for a total of, I think that's 1325. Let me double check. I'm not very good at math in my head. 
There we go, 1325. And then we're gonna subtract off that remaining. And that leaves us with 2,610. Our sinking funds, we have car, home, car insurance, and then Christmas, and we'll do birthday. So our car, I'm gonna do a little bit more this month because we are trying to save. So one of our goals, if you watched my goal video for 2021, I will link it above if you have not watched it yet. But one of our goals is to pay for a car in cash, either the end of this year or maybe next year. I'm not exactly sure on when we'll be able to do that. So I'm actually gonna do 250. And this is also like, this is just our car fund. So our car maintenance, um, we do have our car insurance separated, but like this would be like oil changes or if anything goes wrong with my car and then also to purchase a new car. And then home, I'm gonna do 50. We don't have anything on the horizon right now as far as home projects, but I do like to fund that every month just um, to make sure that we do have money in case we were to have something come up. Christmas, I'm doing 50 and birthday, I'm just gonna do 25 because we actually don't have any birthdays for a while. So we don't really need to be funding those too heavily right now. So adding those up would be 435. Subtracting off would leave us with a 2,175 remaining. And as you guys know, our only debt right now is our student loans. I'm not going to put a date. I pay weekly. If you're familiar with me on Instagram, I pay every single week. So I divide this amount by four or five, depending on how many weeks are in the month. And that is how I pay. I prefer to pay that way so that I'm making progress every single week. So if you guys have seen my Instagram, a lot of times my ending monthly payments do not exactly match this number. And that's for a various amount of reasons. So I don't include any of our side hustle income in our regular income. This is just our bare bones budget with our income that we are pretty sure we will be receiving from our full-time jobs. Um, occasionally my husband will get a bonus um, that's kind of hit or miss depending on the month. So we do not include that in our regular budget. And also I work a lot on side hustles. I typically try to bring home between two to $300 a month and all of that goes to debt. So a lot of times our actual monthly payment to my student loans is higher than this, but this would be like our minimum payment as far as um, like what we would pay out of our regular budget. So I just wanted to clarify that because I did get some questions on my January budget video that um, they were like, it seems like you're paying more than that weekly. And, and I just wanted to explain that a lot of times this we do end up bringing home more than this just based on side hustles or extra income coming in. So hopefully that clarifies any questions. Anyways, that is my budget for February. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. That would be so appreciated by me. You guys really help out my channel when you do that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.